Welcome back to my channel So, I tahu I dah lama gila Tak upload anything dekat my YouTube channel And I am fully aware of that Tapi macam macam mana eh Macam bila I dah start semester kan Macam I memang Can't do anything else I, I can't do this kind of things Macam I orang tak ada masa Especially when it comes to online learning lah So macam I rasa everyone else pun sama kot Bila online learning jadi macam extra busy gila Banyak gila tasks and assignments and and yeah i hope that explains um kenapa i tak ada buat video baru okay tapi it's 2021 and um one of my new year's resolutions is to make more videos macam ni so hopefully hopefully i dapat buat more videos okay. so for um for today's video i'll be sharing about my journey to law school so, to those yang tak tahu, I sekarang in my second year dekat uh, Faculty of Law I buat law dekat uh, UM, University of Malaya So, I sekarang dekat my third semester I baru je habis my third semester last week So, nanti uh, this March, I masuk fourth semester lah Okay, so um, kenapa I plan untuk buat video ni sebab macam this is one of the most frequently asked questions now I feel more. I received like quite a few DMs ataupun questions dekat Curious Cat from strangers ataupun uh, from my juniors also yang tanya pasal um, macam mana nak sambung law macam mana you boleh uh, buat law dekat UM macam mana you dah boleh dengki boleh masuk UM uh, things like that so macam I'm planning to summarize the whole thing dekat this one video and I really hope it will be um, helpful to you all. Tapi, here's a disclaimer. Um, this is not a how to get into law school kind of video. But this is my journey to law school kind of video. So, I would just be speaking from experiences. If you are like my, uh, my video, ni, macam the information that I share here, macam tak suffice, ataupun macam you want more, you can do your own research, okay? Okay, so let's begin. So, um, untuk this video, I can cerita daripada macam mana I berminat untuk sambung law Daripada I habis SPM tu And then macam mana I boleh decide untuk masuk dengkil And then macam mana daripada dengkil, I boleh masuk uh, UM Punya law school Okay, so Mula-mula masa I habis SPM I tak adalah macam, oh I nak sambung law, nak sambung law Tak um, I was actually like considering few other options lah So, masa tu macam they were medicine, law and also architecture So, tiga ni lah Tapi macam yang I lebih cenderung masa tu law lah Cuma macam masa tu macam if I tak dapat law pun macam I tak kisah sangat macam tu but, Tapi masa nak apply scholarship um, I'm not sure about you all but during my time Sikit gila Or macam almost none um, Scholarships yang not sponsor students yang nak sambung law So masa tu when it comes to macam scholarships I macam just apply je mana-mana yang I rasa macam okay So masa tu um, I dapat result SPM 2018 uh, I apply YTN Yes, Antenaga National Business Scholarship So I applied for international business So I pergi uh, I pergi interview semua Lepas tu dapat lah So masa dah dapat tu macam I terima je lah Tapi macam bila I dah terima I macam hesitant, I macam um, Betul ke I nak sambung This course, betul ke macam This is what I truly want You know So masa tu, I dah start I dah start macam hesitant kan So macam, I start lah macam tanya my parents And then I tanya my seniors yang dapat YTMP scholarship juga I tanya dor dorang punya uh, opinions lah Macam, you know you know lah macam Should I go for this scholarship Or should I macam Go for what I actually want Masa tu, um, baru I macam sedar I macam, oh ok, I tak nak buat other courses I memang betul-betul nak buat law I think I finally found my passion masa tu 
So, Doris macam cakap macam um, If you macam tak nak buat international business Therefore macam It's okay to turn down the offer Sebab macam you should you should do what you should love lah Macam tu, something like that So macam, I pun macam okay lah I made up my mind I macam okay, I'm I'm going to turn down this offer Like literally one week before Masa tu I dah masuk uh, Diorang punya group WhatsApp tau So masa tu macam literally one week before the orientation day Orientation week um, Baru I nak macam turn down this offer Sebab macam Memang like the the process pun like, macam laju je Sebab macam once dah dapat um, invitation letter tu And dah dapat result um, interview Macam I rasa macam ada 2 weeks je gap before masuk uni So masa tu like one week before um, Everyone dekat dalam group tu Dah start discuss, uh, WhatsApp group dah start discuss pasal macam Kena pakai baju apa and then like Nanti duduk, duduk, duduk mana, something like that lah Macam everyone dah start discuss tau Tapi macam I je yang macam tak cakap apa-apa So macam setu I macam tak berapa nak kan sambung that course So masa tu I pun call the officer White and pink officer, I cakap lah macam I'm very sorry, I rasa macam I don't want to do this course So much it's better for you to offer this kind of opportunity To people who actually want to do this course Something like that lah Lepas so, tu macam oh, okay lah, dia macam okay je and then dia cakap macam ah tapi awak kena tahu lah macam bila awak dah turn down this offer awak tak boleh awak awak takkan dapat dah any scholarships from YTN after this so masa tu macam because i dah tahu lah consequences of rejecting that offer and i tak macam masa tu rasa macam i got nothing to lose pun sebab macam macam what's the point of doing something you don't like kan kan so i rasa macam okey tak apa je so I macam okey lah okay so um i masuk UPU and bila i masuk UPU Mm. Okay, dekat uh, Malaysia ni Ada en... Dekat Malaysia ada Enam je law schools IPTA lah, public universities So ada ada UM, UKM UNISA, UUM UITM, UIE So ada enam, if I'm not mistaken lah Ada enam je Tapi, untuk foundation Ada dua je university Yang menawarkan foundation untuk girls nak sambung law So masa tu ada, I think sekarang pun sama je Ada UIA and uh, UITM Thank you lah UITM, thank you Tapi apa yang membezakan antara dua ni Is that kalau you masuk UIA Kalau you buat foundation dekat UIA You tak boleh, you tak boleh dah dalam macam lepas uh, habis foundation dekat UIA Tiba-tiba nak sambung law dekat UM, let's see Tapi kalau you masuk, kalau you buat foundation dekat UITM Dengkil You you boleh sambung dekat uh, Kacau lah kucing ayah You boleh sambung dekat this other law school yang I dah mention tadi okay, So tu macam like the the difference lah Between if you buat foundation dekat UIE Ataupun uh, dengan if you buat foundation dekat UITM okay. Tapi Dekat UITM pula, if you nak apply dekat UPU tu, dia akan keluar dua pula options Which are Law KPTM ataupun Law UITM Kalau you buat Law KPTM, you nanti bila you dah habis foundation for degree You boleh pergi dekat uh, all these other uh, apa? law schools yang I dah mention tadi Tapi, if you opt for Law UITM, you boleh sambung degree dekat UITM je Tapi kalau KPTM, you boleh sambung dekat UITM ataupun all these other law schools lah. So, uh, masa tu macam, I made it clear already lah yang macam I memang tak nak masuk UITM. So, masa tu I memang macam okay, I nak masuk UM, therefore, I dah susun dah macam I akan pilih law KPTM and then I'm gonna spend one year dekat Dengkil. So, after I dapat result, I can apply for law UM. So I dah, masa tu memang I dah susun, I nak macam mana So I applied lah, I applied for law KPTM So, um, I masuk dengkil so, I tahu, um, I cakap benda ni dah banyak kali dah And those yang follow I dekat Twitter or Instagram Memang tahu yang I cakap about dengkil all the time But it's true, it's just it's just really what I feel about your item dengkil it's really something yang macam I'm grateful of Like going to the kill is like macam the best decision I've ever made in my whole life And I am so grateful for that Sebab macam 
I literally like met the best people ever and also like the best lecturers. Lecturers semua macam very welcoming, very helpful. And macam dekat dengki you can literally like kawan dengan everyone tau. Sebab macam is 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 a small place and dekat so ada macam empat courses je and everyone is so fresh and young. Masa tu semua orang macam either 18 or 19. So macam everyone is so energetic and so excited about everything. So memang best gila. So macam entahlah macam until now untuk sekarang I dah dekat my second year kat UM kan. I still macam tak boleh move on from the kill lah. Bottom line masuk ada kill. Macam you takkan regret lah. Macam I can guarantee you takkan regret. Uh, susah lah nak dengar cerita macam orang tak suka dengki lah ataupun orang cakap dengki tak best. Susah, susah sangat. Tak kisahlah you bash mana-mana pun, semua orang akan cakap dengki best killer. So yeah, go to dengki. So masa dekat dengki, I I tak adalah saya sangat. Macam orang saya tak I tak study, tak study sangat pun. I study bila nak exam je sebab okay, tu macam not very good lah. Tapi macam tapi what I did was I memang faham so macam bila macam I tak study tapi I memang dah faham so macam bila I nak exam tu I just hafal balik je apa yang dah faham because law kan so um, so macam kalau you sekarang berada dengki you memang kena macam manfaatkan lah masa you tu macam 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 cakap eh macam you, you kena manfaatkan bukan manfaatkan masa you kena manfaatkan Lecture, lecture, lecture dengki Sebab lecture, 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 lecture dengki memang Baik gila So macam tak faham, tanya je Macam, just tanya So, I dekat dengki um, After one year Okay, kan ada dua, dua semester kan dengki um, First semester, first semester I dapat 3 point I tak dapat flat pun, okay I dapat 3.9 4 grade uh, I dapat A minus So, A minus Masa sem 1 Masa sem 2, I dapat 3.95 Dapat satu A minus juga Okay uh, A minus semua sebab um, Sebab Okay, paper last I, economics Economics uh, So, masa malam tu I tak tahu lah you all ingat ke tak Ada one time tu Macam if you all boleh ingat uh, Ada Post Budak Tadika yang macam viral kan Macam yang, yang kawan daripada Tadika Sampai masuk uni so that girl in the picture was me. So tapi tapi kawan I yang post. So macam yang viral dia punya account lah. I macam terselit je kat situ. Tapi masa tu sebab ada gambar I kan. So gambar tu di viral malam tu. So macam like my notifications malam tu macam masuk macam non-stop lah. Macam pop-pop-pop masuk banyak gila. So masa tu macam image macam I dah lah macam ada, ada paper kan. So ada paper economics. Um... I macam tak tak fokus langsung and also um, malam tu I tak study sangat pun I study uh, sports je uh. tu pun tak masuk like imagine I pergi I pergi I pergi um, day one esok tu tak masuk lah when I study so I literally like goreng macam economics punya essay kan I literally like goreng everything je so macam memang teruk gila masa I keluar masa I keluar exam tu masa I keluar exam hall I macam Oh I dapat C ni Macam teruk gila Macam I rasa memang teruk gila Berbenda I jawab semua Tapi macam Alhamdulillah dapat A minus I macam terkejut macam, I macam terkejut gila dapat A minus I macam Serius lah Sebab macam Like legit teruk gila Macam I tahu lah macam Macam Cara I jawab tu macam mana Sebab macam goreng kan So macam Teruk lah Tapi dapat A minus Macam okey lah Alhamdulillah dapat A minus So dapat A minus So dapat lah 3.94 Eh 3.95 Tapi kalau Kalau UPU UPU punya punya CPA um, dia dia akan ambil law subjects je uh, dia akan ambil law subjects je so in masa tu kan yang I dapat A minus uh, economics punya paper kan so tak termasuk lah so um, my other law subjects semua A je so therefore I punya UP, I punya UPU punya um, result 4.0 lah dapat dapat 4.0 lepas tu dah dapat 4.0 semua ok lepas dapat result semua I apply lah apply UM so apply pula untuk UPU untuk masuk degree. So I memang ada decide kan nak masuk UM kan. So bila masuk uh, so my my first choice UM, second choice UKM. Okay. So um, dapat result, dapat pergi interview UM. Okay. Tapi kalau I tak tahu other courses, ad, ada lah certain courses yang macam kena pergi interview juga kan. Uh, and law is one of them. 
So macam if you nak sambung law school, you kena pergi interview. Kalau UM ya, UM, uh, UITM, UKM, UNISA dengan UUM, I tak sure sangat. Uh, tapi macam all these other other law schools memang kena pergi interview. So tak bermaksud you dapat interview, tak bermaksud yang you dapat masuk uni tu. Depends on your performance during the interview itself lah. So masa tu I pergi interview UM, I macam cuak gila. So macam I tanya lah, I tanya my senior semua kan macam I tak adalah ramai sangat senior tapi I adalah macam kenal few. Sebab masa kat Dengkil, I um, organize sharing event punya sharing event, sharing session punya event. Therefore, I got to meet um, alumni Dengkil yang dah masuk law school saya. So, masa tu macam dah ada connection lah. So, macam senang lah masa tu. So, bila nak masuk, bila nak, bila nak pergi interview UM, macam I, I I contact some of them. Sebab nak, nak tanya-tanya pasal interview semua kan. So, maybe you you want to do this also. Maybe macam you nak cari senior-senior yang you boleh macam rely on. Kalau nak tanya pasal interview ke apa ke. Okay. So, few days before my interview, I tak adalah macam study daripada kulit buku ke kulit buku. Masa tu, I just study my notes je. I macam tengok-tengok balik je my notes. Tapi macam I study lah, tak adalah macam tak study langsung. So, I study my notes and then I tengok macam interview questions lah. Macam, macam why you nak masuk UM, kenapa nak sambung law, things like that. Macam you dah kena prepare lah. Tak adalah macam you hafal the whole script nak like tulis everything. Tak adalah macam tu. Dia macam you kena, you kena rehearse lah. You nak cakap apa? Uh, macam, what are your points? Macam tu. Okay, so untuk uh, interview, masa I pergi tu, masa tu tak ada COVID kan? So macam, um, interview macam best lah. So masa tu dia, dia ada sediakan through different boxes. So if siapa-siapa dapat for flat, dia akan letak dekat this box. And then siapa-siapa yang dapat other than for flats, dia akan letak dekat the other box. So maksudnya, dia prioritize orang yang dapat for flat ni. So, if you betul-betul nak masuk UM is macam I would definitely suggest for you untuk um, untuk dapatkan for flat lah. So, macam um, you akan dapat dapat benefits kat situ lah sebab macam lagi senang untuk you masuk UM. Tapi, still depends on your performance during interview lah. Tapi, if you dapat for flat, macam lagi senang lah untuk you nak mendapatkan tempat di um, Faculty of Law University Malaya. Um, dia akan bagi dia akan bagi you macam question. Ah, dia akan bagi question. Dan macam, I tak, I tak ingat berapa minit. Dia beri question macam problem, problem question lah. Short problem question. So, contoh macam, during my time, I dapat negligence punya question. So, I dapat macam, uh, this guy pergi jalan-jalan dekat KL, tiba-tiba terjatuh dalam longkang, something like that lah. So, macam boleh ke dia nak see you for uh, negligence dekat uh, dekat pihak yang bertanggungjawab macam something like that lah. So, um, uh, dia akan bagi macam, I tengok during my time like 15 minutes ke 5 minutes ke 15 minutes ataupun half an hour Tapi I rasa macam 15 minutes ke 5 minutes Okay, tak, tak sure Tapi, uh, dia, akan bagi, dia akan bagi time lah So, masa tu memang macam you kena You kena, you know like macam prepare an answer lah Tapi, bukanlah you kena hantar, you know macam like exam You kena present that orally So, Uh, dia akan panggil macam lepas dah bagi soalan tu dia akan panggil masuk bila interview so masa ada dua panel so you kena present your answer lah you kena cakap uh, kenapa uh, kenapa macam you kena jadi lawyer lah macam you kena cakap macam ok kenapa uh, dia boleh sue for uh, negligence something like that and, tak, kalau you rasa macam dia tak boleh and kenapa tak boleh nak sue for negligence and etc so after dah present tu kejap je lah dia macam dia macam tak adalah nak tengok you punya jawapan tu betul sangat tapi macam the way you present them uh, lepas saya tanya, lepas you dah present uh, jawapan you dia akan tanya pula soalan-soalan lain macam kenapa nak masuk UM kenapa nak sambung law, something like that so basically macam just prepare those general questions lah so itulah uh, lepas saya dah pergi uh, interview tu and then after some time, diorang Hantar email, dapat, uh, keluar dekat Resort UPU, dapat, dapat lah, dapat masuk UM. So, itulah ceritanya macam mana I um, daripada habis SPM, masuk Dengkil and then masuk, finally dapat masuk UM. Tapi macam sedih lah sebab macam I sekarang dah second year kan. Tapi sekarang dekat, dekat bilik. Macam, 
you know, like, I should be enjoying my uni life with my friends kan dekat dekat UM semua tapi macam sebab covid tapi macam tak apa let's just hope covid will end soon so we don't have to like go through online learning yang disastrous gila and macam penat gila so yeah so that's all from me thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video can benefit you in any way Um, especially to those yang nak sambung law dekat UM ataupun to those yang baru nak masuk dengkil ataupun to those yang tak tahu nak sambung course apa and tengah consider maybe nak ambil law ke kan so I harap boleh membantu sedikit sebanyak okay. so uh, if you ada any suggestions on the next video yang I should make you boleh comment down below bye bye Everything is blue, is blue.